Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of Final Fantasy 2 in the US. Final Fantasy 4 elsewhere. <laughs> Let's get the audio set the way we want it. Okay. Here we go. So, we're in the the dwarven dwarven area underground. So, not really sure where to go here. Hey, Ron, welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? I did have a good day. How about you? Whoa. They have really... Kicked up the damage. Oh, that's what the axe does, huh? That's interesting. So how you doing? Long day for you? You're tired? Sorry to hear that, Ron. Wow, that was a crazy call there. Do you see that? Rydia gained a level. Well, now you can just relax. Listen to some Final Fantasy commentary. Unless you got some hockey. I know you're a big hockey fan. Maybe there's a game going on or something. It's a dead end. Hmm. I guess I can step on that. So is this related to your your new, I don't know what you want to call it. Your new position? It's not really a position. New tasks. How about we'll say tasks. Let's summon a titan. Let's see what a titan can do for us. Hey, Gauntlet, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Oh, okay. We'll see you later then, Ron. Enjoy your hockey. Hey, Sastam, welcome. How you doing this evening? Ouch. Man, it's taken her a long time to cast Titan. Let's see what this does. Ha! <laughs> it's an earthquake. Okay. <laughs> Gauntlet says arcade greater than NES. Yeah, but this is super NES. Does that matter at all? But yeah, I agree with you. In general, arcade is better than NES. Ugh. More dark imps. Let's cast something that's a little faster. <laughs> that's right. Super. Super duper. There we go. So Sadstam had been streaming uh let's see. What was it called? Persian It's part two, I know. Why can't I not remember the name of it? Something Persian. Prince of Persia, part two. And that, that game's interesting. White Wizard. Okay, she needs to be healed too. 
There we go. Yeah, Prince of Persia too. Yep. <laughs> I just kept laughing at how many times the guys would get knocked off the roof. And they're like, ah, oh, every time. Man, they really don't like Riddy. I need to move her to the back. Yeah, it does look hard, says Tam. A silver shield. Interesting. I don't know if I can use that. He already has a silver shield. Yeah, and he can't equip that. Can a white wizard equip a shield? Ah, she has a bow. Okay. Alright, let's adjust... How am I going to do this? Let's see. Change. No. Form. There we go. Okay, there's a bunch of tanks. This must be where I need to go. Oh, there we go. But yeah, Prince Persia, the uh, graphics and animation were really cool. Reminded me a lot of that other game. Uh, oh, what's it called? Out of This World. Real smooth animation. More dark imps. Surprised. Flashbacks, that's another one, Gauntlet. I've never played that one. Yang gained a level, okay. Hmm. Should we go through that door or should we go right? Well, let's see what's up here first. I need my heal staff or whatever it was called. Cure staff back. Whoa. It's a boomerang axe. Bandana. <laughs> I don't think a bandana would help much, but let's let's see. Thirty-four fourteen. So 
attack went up by one, defense went up by two, but magic resistance went down by two. Actually, defense went up by four. I guess we'll leave it equipped. Hey there, Larry. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Larry says, and Blackthorn. That was an early Blizzard game. Hmm, never heard of that one. Ah, <laughs> glad to hear that, Gauntlet. You finally put the spammers in their place, huh? Ooh, I don't like this. Evil dolls. Why are they only doing one damage? That's kind of weird. Yeah, Tella had it equipped. So when he left or died or whatever, I lost the cure staff. She resurrects her evil dolls. Make sure I don't have it in my inventory. Like it didn't give it back to me. Nope. Blackthorn looks interesting, Gauntlet. <clears throat> That's cool. Not the NES Commando, huh? <laughs> well, that's a good thing, because the NES Commando is goofy as can be. You've seen me play it. <laughs> Chocobo. Monsters. Oh boy. Alert. Hmm. Identifying object. What is that about? Stone man, huh? That's okay. We're going to summon Shiva. Whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, the NES Commando equals Jungle Warrior in pajamas, Gauntlet says. Here comes Shiva. Oh, yeah. Shiva made him Shiva. Rydia leveled up again. Oh, what is this? A blizzard wand or staff or something. Can she use this? No? Okay. Flame rod. Where did it go? So she can't use it either. 
Unless maybe in her left hand? Nope. Hmm. Oh, it was a spear, wasn't it? 77.45 90 42 Wow, that's a huge attack increase Can my main guy use it? No, okay Hey, Garrison, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Yes, Aztam. It is for Kane, you're right. Larry says Blackthorn looks like a run and run... Run and gun game, but it's a puzzle platformer with a cover system. It looks great, but it's not that good. <laughs> Ooh. Flame dog. Shall we do ice? He just did 5,000 damage to those. What the hell? I guess because of the ice effect of the blizzard. Oh, it says I like seeing the unique games, even if they have quirks. Yeah, absolutely. Garrison says my concept of different gods and goddesses in various parts of the world was completely wrong, thanks to the Final Fantasy games. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Glad you're doing good, Garrison. Yeah, same here. Yeah, Legend of Makai was uh, definitely interesting. It was basically like Wizards and Warriors on the NES, but um, with some enhancements. Except for when I got stuck. That was unfortunate. Chimera, wow, okay. Cane, do they? Harrison says a lot of the summon creatures come from different myths, but they aren't really accurately represented. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ice brand. Okay, let's take a look. Seventy six forty. Eighty seven thirty eight. Okay. I think that's a good upgrade.
Okay, let's use... Ether. Okay, there we go. Colin says, at least the Sega Chopper freed the ship in the Suez Canal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the supermoon supposedly helped. Let's hear it for the Nobuo Umatsu, the composer for the series, Garrison says. Hmm. Yeah, it's... This has got good music. Uh, it's funny how you can just sit there running like this. There we go. Garrison says the overworld theme from Final Fantasy VI is amazing. Hmm. <clears throat> you know, there was something to the left, too, I think. I really should explore more. Ice arrows. <laughs> Run away to fight another day. More ice arrows, okay. Let's see. Oh, she already had ice arrows. There we go. And then there was something over to the right, too. We'll go check it out. Probably going to be more ice arrows. Oh, ether. <laughs> Marion. They really want me to fight these evil dolls, don't they? Okay, so we've found all the treasure chests here. Yeah. Cat Claw. We know who that's for. Hmm, poison or charm? Not sure. That only went up by one. Hmm. So does the cat claw have some other special benefit? Does anybody know? <clears throat> Garrison says, actually, now that you got an ether, my concept of what ether is in the real world <laughs> was also warped by the Final Fantasy, yeah. Huh. That's pretty funny, Garrison. Cure 2. Yeah, the old alchemy days, they thought space was filled with ether. They didn't understand vacuum. The concept of a vacuum. Flame Man. Ice arrows do a lot of damage against these. Nice too, this should do a lot. Oh, 2200. 
You don't think Cat Claw's a special bonus adds to him? Okay. Alright, let's see. Ah! Oh, dang it. <laughs> Life potion. Nope, I want to go in this other building first. So now I gotta go all the way back around. Oh man. Hey Rod, welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Gotta go all the way around. Uh yeah, we can go this direction. I don't wanna leave any chest unturned. Just in case there's some cool item. Hey, Bill. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Archer bow. That's cool. Let's see if that's better than this. 29, 23. Oh, it is better. Uh, Bill says an ice claw might help a lot more with some of these guys than a cat claw. Cat claw adds strength and agility. And can put the enemy to sleep. Ah, oh, okay. Cool. Hmm. I don't have an ice claw yet. I have a charm claw, poison claw, cat claw. Okay, let's see. Another life potion. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> you guys are funny through conversations. I think this is a dead end, yeah. Egg? What the hell? We're surprised by an egg. <laughs> What? Fell asleep. And charmed. The egg's charmed. We're just gonna let Kane jump then. I'm gonna sit here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> what the hell was that? Haha. <laughs> You're thinking of playing Final Fantasy V or VI, Rod? That's cool. You should do it. Oh, attack from behind. Can I run? Oh. Ouch. We got away. Okay. Haha. <laughs> If you don't feel like grinding, you're probably picking the wrong games then. Let's see here. Let's have the Paladin do some healing too. There we go. Don't underestimate the egg, yeah. What the heck was the egg gonna do? Hey, Michael, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Michael says excellent. <laughs> That's funny. That was unexpected. <laughs> oh, Larry. <laughs> aren't, I, aren't I near the Chocobo place? No. Now we're in the dwarf area. Tofu? That's hilarious. Tofu. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was going to be ex excited about it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, here we go. Cool. Now we can rest. Tent. Wow, I've got a ton of tents. Garrison says he thinks five was too grindy. He didn't. 
like the job system. And then he says, I highly recommend six if you've never played it before. And there's no grinding required unless you really want your characters overpowered. Yeah, I'm in the castle of food monsters, exactly. Eggs and uh, tofu. <laughs> That's where I came from, okay. <laughs> Sastam says he grinded his characters to max level in Final Fantasy VI just for fun. Here we go again. Identifying object. That didn't last long. Egg transforms into a monster omelet. <laughs> Rod says four was quite lengthy on story. Ice armor, okay. Where he gets that? Hmm. Thirty eight seven. 44, 8. Okay. That works. What does Kane have? Silver. He can't wear Paladin. Ah, it should be good. Oh, I thought you were talking about Ultima 6, Garrison, but you said you grinded until all your characters could cast the Ultima spell in Final Fantasy 6. Michael says, Waiter, how would you like your egg? Me. Beaten by a party of adventurers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Huh. Oh, here we go. Let's kill the. Let's kill some tofu. I'm curious. I am curious as to what the tofu is going to do to us. Just a straight damage. It looks like. Oh, it's hard to hurt. There we go. Mist took it out. Larry says, I finished Mist. It's much better than I expected. I always looked down on that game, but I was wrong. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I never did play that game. Ooh, Naga. Final Fantasy Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Cold doesn't work on it. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay have been extremely difficult. Optional boss. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it did form an eight gauntlet. You're right. 
the snake, the naga, ice shield. Okay. Let's see, Kane, can you equip that? Forty-two ten. Did nothing. Okay. There we go. Tiny increase. Hmm. I wanted to make sure there wasn't a hidden. I don't see a hidden. Okay, it really is an empty room. It's got blazes, yep. What the? Ouch. How rude. Let's see here. Actually, I have a life two potion somewhere. I thought I did. Maybe not. Yeah, that Chimera was tough. Wait a minute, did I go in here? I think I did. Oh, here we go again with this egg. Hatch, here we go. Oh, a black lizard, okay. <laughs> I like how we encounter the egg, like... We're just walking around along and all of a sudden there's a big egg right there. Yeah, I did already get this one. Okay. Ah. Uh. Especially when it surprises you. That's really a rip. What the hell? How many attacks does this thing get? That's ridiculous. It's getting one attack per... Like four attacks per round. And look at the experience you get. 575. I don't think they tested and balanced. <laughs> Come on, guys. Do more testing before you release games. That's right, Ron. Chad is jumping. Larry says, I remember in Final Fantasy 1, you fight a locomotive. Gosh, I don't remember that. I remember fighting that robot thing. What was it called? It's kind of Terminator thing or something? I don't remember the locomotive. Oh, and, and we're surprised. Oh, that time he didn't blaze us.
One step and then an encounter. Same, same chimera that didn't surprise us though. Yeah, the war mech. That's what it was. Yeah, we fought the war mech. I remember Percy was saying, or somebody was saying it was really rare. And I got it like on the third encounter. <laughs> it's like, what the? On that one level. We killed it, though. Garrison says, you fight a ghost? Oh, let's kill this guy now. We get a strike first. You fight a ghost train in Final Fantasy VI? Weird. Rod says, I just read a change my mind post that says catapults are just angry spoons. <laughs> hmm. Sandstam says, yeah, there was a Nintendo Power Contest where they wanted you to send in, send them a picture if you're fighting the war mech. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, and I didn't even try. I didn't want to fight it. Well, what? Okay. If that's a sixth floor, then what's in this middle part? This is kind of weird. Hey, Crystal Water. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? He asks, do you, D Forte, do you like these RPGs or Dungeons and Dragons based video game RPGs more? In general, D and D, but I like the variety. If I had to pick only one, it'd be D and D. But if I have a choice to play both, I'd play both. Garrison says, "Yeah, you should give six a try." Well, I'm sure I will eventually. What? Is it on? What system is it on, though? Seventh floor. Hmm. Yeah, good to see you too, Crystal Water. Yeah, variety is always a good thing in my mind. We're spoiled with choice. So six is on the SNES? Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely give it a shot then. Oh, it was actually three in America? Okay. I may have actually played it, Garrison. Because I know I've played this and I beat this as a kid. It was just so long ago, I don't remember much about it. And, uh... Crystal Water says... The PSP and Game Boy Advance releases of Final Fantasy II SNES are better, in his opinion. Hmm... Ooh, Medusa. Let's try it. It said we strike first, and they're already going. What the hell? Crystal Water says PlayStation 1 version of Final Fantasy 2 is extremely difficult. You'd probably love how brutal the difficulty is. <laughs> oh, well. As long as it's fair and it and you can be strategic, I like games like that. If it's a lot of randomness that makes it brutal, I don't like that. So if it's brutal but consistent and not random, that's fine. I 
Uh, I think that's one of the reasons why I struggle with these types of games a little more, because the randomness is too huge. You know, an enemy can hit you for 50 damage, or they can hit you for 400. It's like, what? I prefer it to be a, a tighter random range where you can make better predictions. Or give you an option where you can con control that range. Like in uh, Heroes of Mind Magic 2, you know, where you can cast Bless or you can cast Curse to change ranges. That helps a lot. Rod says, one tip. If you follow a guide that tells you when a character will leave your party, don't sell their items like I did. <laughs> I'm not going to follow a guide, Rod. If anything, you guys would help me out on a stream. <laughs> and Garrison says, Kefka is the main baddie in 6, if you remember him. I don't. That name does not sound familiar. But none of this looks familiar to me either, and I know I've beaten this. Like some of the graphics I remember in this, and the music I remember. But the, oh, Doctor Lugie, <laughs> Master Rubicant, please be careful. Eblon has fallen, so the threat is gone. We'll take care of this place while I'm gone. Oh, it's playing the evil circus music. Dr. Lugie, hee hee hee. Golbez and Rubikin both are gone. Now I'm the leader here. Weird guy. <laughs> Hush. Who's there? Oops. T Forte. Won't you call for help, Doctor? Don't take me lightly or you'll get burned. Makes me laugh. Now face my beloved child, Belnab. Go, Belnab. Grr. <laughs> what? Dr. Lugie, we're going to call Shiva on you. <laughs> he said, ouch, not me. Them over there. <laughs> Beat them up. How many hit points does this little doctor have? He's got more hit points than, like, the tougher bosses. Yeah, we're getting more plot, Ron. Exactly. <laughs> Shiva didn't do as much as I thought he would. Or she. I must oil him. Yeah, go ahead and heal him. I'm not... I'm not attacking Balnab. There we go. Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, oil. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoa. There goes Kane. Lugi, I'll show you my real strength. Now 
Now the real fight, okay. Gas. Watch. He turned into, like, some kind of skeleton or something. Gas, laser, oh, they really don't like Kane, do they? Okay, why did we just get healed? I'm confused about that. Okay, finally, he didn't shoot Kane. Up. Oh, take that back. Too late. Heal. Where is heal? I still don't understand how I keep getting healed there. That, that's kind of weird. Yeah, this is Kane's karma for being a jerk. I just keep trying to resurrect him. Here comes the Titan. Let's hope it does some damage. There we go. Level ups. Learn virus. Cool. Tower key. There we go. This tower of Babel connects the ground and underground. Rubicant has already moved all the crystals to the upper world, and I shall annihilate the doors with my super cannon. Dwarves are in danger. We must stop the super cannon. We must destroy it. We can't use it, okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's go open that door that was locked. Let me check the chat here. Yeah. <laughs> your OCD kicks in when one of your fighters faints before the fight ends, Rod says. And they won't level up. <laughs> and Crystal Water says this fight's brutal on the PlayStation 1. Rod says, I imagine Kane just playing bodyguard and getting in the way to get ec get extra I'm important in the story points. <laughs> Final Fantasy Explanation for Evil. I was under a spell. Yeah, exactly. Yep, you just say it. It's magic. It's always magic. Let's go unlock that door that we ran across.
Rod says, are you actually using your potions instead of hoarding them till you finish the game? That's illegal. <laughs> yeah, I'm a con I consume items in games. A lot of people don't do that. I'm a big believer in that. You want to balance, though. You don't want to use them all up. Strike first. Okay, now should be able to unlock this. Tower key. Super cannon, here we go. Goodbye, dwarves. <laughs> Deforte, your fun is over. You, how did you get here? Get, get them. Uh oh. Dark imps. Those are easy. Rod says you could use a carrot on the door. That would have been... <laughs> yeah. How about this? No one can stop us now. Oh, wait. Yang, what are you doing? Let me guess. He's going to sacrifice himself to save everybody. I'll take care of this. Go on, escape. No, don't. It'll explode. Go. <laughs> Yang! Tell my wife to live for me. Open up, Yang. Yang, please, please don't do this. It was a good trip with you all. Yang, open the door. Arg! <laughs> oh, the storylines are so predictable, aren't they? Yang. And now we can cast, hopefully, Exit. No, it won't let us cast Exit. We lost Yang. Yeah, Garrison. Will it let us get out now? No. Rod says, in a world with magic telekinesis, incredibly advanced computers, the guy decides to sacrifice himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. We have life potions. Garrison, you're getting too logical. You're getting too logical. <laughs> Rod says... Deforte's reaction to d his death. Oh no! So anyway, let's keep. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to get vested in these characters. It's like you can, it's it's like you get vested in characters where you have to really work your butt off, and then if something happens, you're actually angry about it when they die. Is this where you can rest? No? Okay. Let me see if exit will work now. <laughs> so why doesn't exit work? I'm confused about that. Hmm. Garrison says, you've brought the dead back to life multiple times. Just go get Yang's body. Yeah, exactly.
There's death and then there's death, Sastan says. Death with a capital D. Still can't exit. The deaths in that game actually mean something, Garrison, in Final Fantasy VII. There we go. This is why we couldn't cast exit. <clears throat> this is all for play, kids. Farewell. <laughs> oh, is this Sid gonna get us again? We gonna get Sid back? <laughs> Sastam says, I think Yang was the last character death. Well, that'll be good. We got Sid back again. Where's Yang? Sid, you know, you know darn well why Yang isn't here. Because there's only max five party members. And since you're going to join us, he had to die. Poor Yang. Who's this girl? <clears throat> Shucks, they're coming. <laughs> Can't we shake them off? Looks like they're modified red wings. He's catching up. Give it your best, Enterprise. The engine can't last much longer. Oh no. I just hear Scotty on Star Trek. We can't take much more, Captain. <laughs> oh, I have to take control. Okay. Sid, what are you doing? Get out of the underground. I'll close the hole with this bomb. No, Sid. Here we go. I wanted to see your children. Rosa D Forte, but I guess I'll stay here for a while. Oh, we got another person sacrificing. Hey there, Mr. G. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got Sid. He's gonna sacrifice again. <laughs> says Sam says, Oh no, I was wrong. Forgot about this. Now Sid's time turn to die. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. <laughs> yeah, the cruel reality of ROM storage limits, as Tim says. But he died unnecessarily because there we had a free slot. <laughs> Too dangerous.
We'll head toward Baron. Glad you're doing fine, Mr. G. Your first Final Fantasy must spend some time along now. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Okay, so now I'm not really sure. We're back in this world. So we gotta go to Baron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny, Rod. I have to hold this bomb because, um, reasons. Okay. Let's rest up because I don't know if I need to or not. Oh, we might as well buy some life potions while we're here. Okay. Garrison says, what a showboating glory hog. Yang just sacrificed himself and Sid has to one-up him immediately. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Garrison. Sid was all about his ego, wasn't he? <laughs> okay, Baron. I have no idea where that's at. Does anybody want to help me out? Otherwise, I'm just going to fly around until I find it. Is this... Is Baron a castle? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> that was lucky. A monster was turning into our king. Okay, so we'll try to go to the throne room, I guess. Oh. Hmm. Is there an anti-stone potion for, for them or something? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got get lucky with this guess, but it looks like there's these have to be healed or cured somehow. Is there like a anti stone? I guess the other option is does she have a spell? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> yeah, Mr. G, I've never... I played this when I was a kid. Probably about 30 years ago. And I beat it, and I have not played it since. We can't do anything for him now, says Tam? Okay. I'm ashamed, he says. So they said to go to Baron. Okay, we're here. Now what? Please, what? Please take the throne. Please avenge the king. Piggy, oops, excuse me. Uh-oh, what is this? <laughs> Turned us into a little bitty thing. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mr. G. Yeah, since I've beaten this before, I'm okay with spoilers. I just honestly don't remember much about it at all. It was 30 years ago. Sastam says, uh, go to Sid's house. Oh, Town of Baron. Okay. So there's the Castle Baron, and then there's... The town of Baron. That's not it. 
So yeah, the first time I play through games, I really don't like spoilers, but... I don't think I wanted to do this. I know I've already been here. Yeah. Now we gotta wait for it to come all the way back. <laughs> Rod says, was this released around the same time as the Star Wars movies? No. Star Wars was in the 70s. First one. This was in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of mov movies, Rod, that actually have walls that close in and stuff. I don't know... Now, does Sid have a house here then, says Tam? I just don't remember. I just guess I'll just search them all. This is Rose's mother. Okay. Yeah, it really is like playing the game the first time. Because I just don't remember much about it. Up those stairs I was at? here oh okay here we go is my father still making airships <laughs> no unfortunately he sacrificed himself Yeah, I don't see anything here, says Tam. Well, if anybody wants to help help me out, let me know. It said to go to Town Baron. So I'm here. Yeah, he had a kid. He just sacrifices himself. Okay, already gone in here. This is the training room again. Garrison said, did he even say anything like take care of my son? No, I don't think so. No, he didn't. Yeah, and that's Rose's house. So maybe I need to go back to the castle. Underpass to the castle there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Rod. So this goes underneath. Maybe something down here? I don't know. Garrison says, at least Yang wanted you to tell his wife to stay strong or something. Yeah, that's true. 
I can't imagine I have to go down here. Yeah, this this can't be the right area. Yeah, an exit doesn't even work. Let me go back. I'll check the castle again. Because I know I didn't go into every... room. Disco music. That bass. Dinner, 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 dinner. Why did it say to go back to Baron? Sandstam says sometimes sleeping at the end will trigger a plot. Really? I'll try it. We'll try it, Sazdam. I don't know. Yeah, that bass line sounds so disco like, doesn't it, Garrison? Din it, din it, din it, din it, din it. <laughs> yeah, the trumpets. <laughs> hmm. Why did they tell us to go to Baron? Yeah, we all slept in one bed. There was some dude over there to the right. I don't know who that was. Let's go. Sam. We get down there. Oh, there's a couple of them. Ordered us to attach this hook to the Enterprise. No, it won't take long. Oh, here we go. Found it. Okay. Yeah, there were six beds in the room, and they all jump into one bed. <laughs> yeah, the ship's called the Enterprise. Yeah. Now you can hook and carry the hovercraft. To hook or let go of the hovercraft, press A over the craft. Now you can go to the cave of Eblan by the Tower of Babel. Bring the hovercraft to the shore and attach it there. Then use it to get to the cave. Okay. Sid is. Oh, I can tell you are having trouble handling them. But I won't blame you. Well, good luck. <laughs> okay, Hovercraft, where did I leave you? It seems like it was north or something. There it is. Okay. Now we have to find the tower again. Where is that tower? Is this a tower? No. I don't think so. This is the tower, right? Have I been there? No, that wasn't the Tower of Babel.
Here, we'll just go north. Okay. And then we'll go keep going north. It's here. It was here, I think, wasn't it? It said put it on the shore near the Tower of Babel. Garrison says, you know, eventually you guys are going to have to tell people Sid is dead. <laughs> yeah. It's there. That was the right tower? That one that was kind of grayish or whatever? I didn't think that was the Tower of Babel. I thought that was underground. So it said you put it on the shore. Okay, so there's a cave there. Maybe that's the one they're talking about. This has got to be what they're talking about. Okay. Yeah, the tower spans both worlds. That's what's weird, says Tam. So... We were in it underground, okay, and this is just, this is it popping up above the ground, I gotcha. Well, this says Cave Iblana. Oh, never mind, okay, I got it now. All right. Shurikens? Oh. Does that mean that Yang is coming back because he's the only one that can use shurikens, right? <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yang will come back just because of the items they put in the treasure chest. Heal. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. G. Yeah, there's aliens. That's right. <laughs> this world's flat and hollow, says Tim says. And we'll have to go back into that tower eventually. Okay. Iron backs. Okay. Ouch. Too bad Kane's in the air. Giant bat. Bugs me when games have all this money and you can't spend it. Or you spend it very rarely, like not very often. This is really strange because the monsters in this area seem easier. Hmm. That's where I came from. Okay. Yes, Crystal Water, I am using... Whoa. SNES 9X. Looks like I have version 1.6. I haven't updated in ages. Oh. Oh. Thought you were monsters. 
What? There's an inn down here? That's interesting. Seven hundred. Do we need to rest? No. Yeah, I haven't had any problems with it really, so the version is working fine. Weapons and armor. Ice, ice, and black. Ah, cool. So she likes that, 10,000. I have 15,000 gold, is that what that says? Let's get her armor. Cause she takes a lot of damage. 21 and 20. 24, 22, cool. Why is the shuriken worth so much? 10,000? I guess I'll hang on to it. Well, he's dead, so we might as well sell his stuff. Cabin, ancient sword. Man, that's worth a lot. Why is that worth so much? Hang on to that. Can sell this wind. See, as Tim says, don't sell shuriken. Okay. Nyeri says, you have such a varied, varied schedule of games, they're always fun. Yeah, welcome to the stream, by the way, Yuri. Okay, let's check out the weapons. Ooh, power staff. I like that. I don't know what it'll do, but it's better than a bow. Archer... Poison arrows. Hmm. I have to unequip this first. There we go. Okay, cool. I'm not sure what this is going to do, but hopefully it'll cast a spell of some kind. Yes, you can resurrect characters. Yeah, my pleasure, Crystal Water. If you're heading out, have a good night. Hey, Torth, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Archer bow, duh. Who else uses a bow? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny, isn't it? This path leads to Tower of Babel. Okay. Food is running short. I can I can't believe that we ninjas are defeated easy. Okay. So we're gonna have a ninja join us, I bet. I haven't seen him lately. Okay. The prince will beat up those bad guys, right? 
Oh, sweetie. I'm going to protect my mom. She's pregnant. No, we don't want to change your name. Honey, hold on. Our prince can do it. Okay. Hey there, Elastic Giraffe. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Oh, okay. Glad you're still watching it, Crystal Water. <laughs> he says, Final Fantasy II, that title... The title that called into question the finality of the first Final Fantasy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, Rod. Have a good one. Thanks for dropping in. Ah, Mr. G says the power staff casts a spell if used as an item. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know. These guys are really fanboying over their Prince Tauruses. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Surprised by giant bats. Cave bats. Mr. G says most stabs and rods have use in combat by this point on. That's cool. I like how it says vampire instead of drain. <laughs> it says vampire. It's funny. Can we heal that? That is the question. Doesn't look like it healed it. Nope. I think I could just fight. I don't need to jump. Cure 2 potion, okay. I guess I can cast one more. There we go. Stop the prince, okay. I will, but I need to know which direction to go. Armadillo, Black Liz, <laughs> Prince easily loses his temper. <laughs> I like how they put an exclamation point 
after everything you find. 850 gold pieces! Potion of life! Potion of life! You can find one gold piece and it go... One gold piece! <laughs> yeah, exactly, Sazdam. He says, follow the trail of dying men. <laughs> Hey there, Zendertaker. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> Skulls? That's pretty funny. Okay. They actually look like the monsters on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I've been fighting. I don't remember if Cure works on these or not. I don't know if they're undead or not. <laughs> Taurus said, oh, we're cursed. Taurus says, things were very exciting in the early 90s. Yeah, Garrison was talking about the score. Oh, it does damage him. Earlier Elastic Giraffe. Yeah, Yuri says, at least you have their support. Yeah, April always saying, you have my support. And she doesn't do anything. Looks like Papyrus from Undertale. <laughs> yeah, the undead <laughs> variants of the Foot Clan, exactly. Okay. Special field, whoops. Okay. Do we go left? Do we go up? We wanted it to go left. <laughs> uh, attacked from behind. Giant bats. Yeah, I'll just run. We're just going to keep draining hit points. At least the draining's not uh, permanent, like in Wizardry 8. Or even worse, level drain like in D&D. &D. Oh man, that's so brutal. Sastam says there was a hidden passage by the save point. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's so hard to see. I'm, I'm leaning forward a little bit. To... It looks like black where the passages are. It's a little bit darker than the rest. Looks like it was on that left side wall over there. Oh, over here. I see what you're saying. Monsters. What's that say? Stale man. What does that mean? It's like stale bread. I don't know how a virus would affect a stale man, but somehow it does. Yeah, <laughs> more food monsters. Is he like made out of bread or what's going on here? Berserked. Oh, so that power staff can make him go berserk? There goes Rydia. 
<laughs> Bread golems. Yeah. Garrison says, dude, the status effects in Final Fantasy are never as brutal as the other CRPGs. Yeah. Ooh, a drain sword. Sastam says, I'm watching on an old TV. So superior contrast. Oh, cool. Drain sword. Whoa. That's a huge loss. Wonder what it does though. He can't use oh he can use it. Man, that's such a big loss of attack. Well we'll try it just to see what the heck it does. But why would it be such a low attack? <laughs> Stale man would make an excellent bread pudding. <laughs> yeah, instead of black pudding, we have bread pudding. Tor says, well, the only, they only had five characters left to make a variation of Rockman. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, maybe it vampires the enemies or drains their hit points. That's why I'm assuming too. So it looks like I missed that chest over there, but that's okay. It's probably no big deal. Uh-oh, we got something going here. Hey, Rubicant, I was waiting for this day. Have I met you before? I am Ebland's Prince Edge. Eblan, what's that? Don't play the fool with me. So his name's Edge. He healed it. Was it flame? I will show you how. glare whoa wow Ed you just got owned blast you indeed you're strong but still no match for me challenge me after you become strong enough I would hardly call him strong he got owned <laughs> yeah <laughs> Tor says good job Ed you Flame on a fire elemental guy. Wait. Oh, Edge. You okay? How could I lose? We're also after Rubicant for his crystal. Why don't you stay out of this? He is one of the fiends of elements. Haven't you tasted enough of his power? Think I'm just a spoiled prince, huh? The royal family of Eblan is trained as ninja. I can take care of this myself, okay? Stop it. No more. I've had enough. They always sound so much like kids. Like eight-year-olds wrote this <laughs> story. It's so bad. We lost them all. All. Hey, come on. Rydia. Sob, sob. <laughs> Rubicant is the strongest of the four fiends but we still have to recover the crystals can't keep this pretty girl crying why don't we work together on this consider the fact that he's wounded he sure bluffs well Rosa cure too ooh she spelled it out look at that <laughs> thanks girl you are cute too <laughs> oh my gosh
Give me a break. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go get this treasure chest. Let's see. Oh, we're surprised. Let's see if Edge gets killed right away. Yuri says, well, he was courteous about stomping your face in. <laughs> And Taurus says, Kane, you've been brainwashed like five times already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tell him to go stand in the corner. Garrison says, I think Edge is in store for a huge death scene. Yeah, exactly. His time's coming. Japanese and English are hard to translate with each other, Yuri says. Yeah, that's got to be what it is because it just sounds so childish with English. It sounds like an eight-year-old kid did it. Ninja Flame. So the Drain Sword, maybe I have to actually use it as an item. Because it didn't really do anything. <laughs> Just so dead. I'll give him the Shuriken now. <laughs> says Tim says, now taking bets for the Final Fantasy 2 Death Pool. <laughs> Oh, he has. Maybe he can use a sword. He can't use the shuriken. Are you kidding me? He's a ninja and he can't use a shuriken? What the hell? Let's see if he can use the drain sword. Whoops. No, he can't. Where did it go anyway? All right, I still I still want to see if I can use it as an item. Okay. I don't see any other way of getting over there. <laughs> Sales Tim says go to naming way and rename him Ryu. <laughs> Garrison says, okay, my guess the party defeats the fiend. Then in a cutscene. The Fiend makes a final attack and Edge sacrifices himself to save the party. <laughs> that that sounds right, Garrison. Elastic Giraffe says, Just notice this game was released the week I was born. I feel so old vintage. Hey, I was like 13 or 15 when, I, when this game came out. Elastic, so you can't feel old. <laughs> you don't have the right to feel old. <laughs> Okay, dart. Oh, there, that's what it is. He can dart the shuriken. Let's see what happens. Ah, okay. I want to try to use the drain before I die. Here we go. Okay, so Bluster's an instant death, I guess. Drain didn't do anything. So you can't even really use the Drain Sword. Watch the green number. Okay, so it gave me a green number when I attacked with it. Yeah, that's not worth it. Okay. <laughs> Yuri says 50, so I don't want to hear old. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Works as a normal attack, yeah. <laughs> do my best, Elastic. Do my best. <laughs> Garrison says that's for stabbing air out of the shower drain. <laughs> you went Ice Brand for the boss. Oh, we want Ice Brand for the boss here. Okay. <laughs> so... Why is he in the front now? Why does it show him in the front? That's kind of weird. Oh no, here we go again. We're surprised by the egg this time. just force you to sit there for five seconds <laughs> surprised by an egg <laughs> oh my gosh that is hilarious oh my gosh okay we're walking through the dungeon oh Sorry guys, we can't move. That egg just surprised us. We get we better wait here five seconds. Okay, now we can act. <laughs> what, the, what was that? <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Strike for a sorcerer. Is it really a sorcerer though, or is it one of those types that acts like a sorcerer? <laughs> Garrison's like, what the? Sneak? I wonder what that is. Like a backstab attack? <laughs> Maybe the egg floats around. <laughs> failed. Oh, good job. You failed. Blade Man. Blade Man can cast Virus? That's kind of weird. <laughs> That's gonna haunt you. <laughs> Egg Paralysis status effect, yeah. Why do these Blade Men have spells? <laughs> Bit of an egg-centric enemy, Garrison says. <laughs> Balloon. Now these explode, I think. If I remember right, those things... You don't kill them in time or something weird happens. There's a chest up here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Garrison says, I'd like to be the guy that's coming up with all these man names. <laughs> Easy day of work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Blade man. Armor man, sword man, dart man. I'm waiting for magic man. <laughs> that plays some heart in the background. <laughs> I 
Monsters. Whoa, mad ogres. Okay. Oh, they're immune to fire. Or not immune, but almost immune. <laughs> yeah, it's true, Garrison. Oh, nope, don't do flame. Here we go. Lightning. Does that work? No. Tor says, these sorcerers look like crazy homeless people who just said they were sorcerers on their job application. <laughs> yeah, these guys do look cool. Virus, maybe that'll work. Just use regular weapons. I've noticed they do a ton of damage to fighters, but not much at all to the magic users. Yeah, resilient ogres, or resistant ogres. There we go. Garrison says his edge an old man. Oh, we got an ogre axe. Hmm. Can he use an axe? No. It's an increase. We'll see. No, we don't want to fight those things again. Oh, equip the ice weapons before fighting that guy. Yeah, I should do it now then. It's a good idea, says to him. He looks old in battle. Yeah, he does. That's rather egg-centric. Two balloons, a Frankenstein monster, and a black cat all ready to kill you.
Oh, there's bosses. And now there's a grudger. Is that where the movie The Grudge came from? Hmm. It might be a young man with wacky colored art JRPG hair, yeah. Uh oh, now we gotta see what the balloons are gonna do. Balloons. <laughs> Garrison says obviously a child's birthday party went terribly wrong here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on. Middle sword. Okay. I guess that's better than a short sword. There we go. Hmm. Little balloons, arms are adorable. <laughs> Before we go look at that thing, let's go over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. They also drop a rare summon? You mean item? Okay, so this doesn't do anything right now. It's probably where we have to go to escape or something goofy. Tor says there's a secret summons you can get for Rydia that gets dropped in battle. Hmm, that sounds strange. Ha! Huh. They were all trying to cast Virus on Kane, and he's in the air. I would think Indra would do good against these since they're in armor. <laughs> Lastix says, Guy at Square paid to name items. Stale man, middle sword. Alright, I'm going on a break. And Garrison says, This enemy looks like a white leopard. Call it black cat. I'm going on a break. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. G says, I only found those by chance once. Never farmed for them. Hmm. Sweet. 
Yes, an item you use and Meridia learns to summon. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Dead end. <laughs> King of Eblan, Edge, Dad, Mom. I'm glad you are fine. So am I. Edge, come. Come with us. To where? To the dark world. Hmm. <laughs> All down to the Hades. Let's kill the woman first. Titan seems to do well. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Mom, Dad, why do you look like crazy monsters? Whoa. Sneak against your mom. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Failed. Took two damage. Man, how many hit points do these guys have? <laughs> uh oh, it's playing music. They became conscious. They spelled it wrong. Do you see that? They spelled conscious wrong, I think. It's me, Edge. <laughs> Mom, Dad, we've done it 9,000 damage to you. How come you haven't died yet? Oh, because it won't let you die. <laughs> We're no longer human. She's taken like 14,000 damage already. <laughs> it's an interactive cutscene, says Dim says, yeah. Yeah, it's like I'm wasting my time doing all this damage. We must not live long. Oh, he got a critical hit on his mom. <laughs> Chocobo, it's the only thing left I can cast on her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, will you stop hitting us? Uh, I'm trying to explain. 
You've already done 20,000 damage to us. Please quit trying to kill us because you can't. Before we lose our something. We've got to hear all of the dialogue. <laughs> Meanwhile, your son attempts to pick your pockets, <laughs> Mr. G says. <laughs> Mind. We must go. But wait, I've only done 25,000 damage. I need to do 30,000. <laughs> oh, they did spell conscious correctly? It was the font rendering that made it look wrong. That's funny. <laughs> Edge, no, please. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit here. Oh, there. He disappeared and we hadn't even attacked him. That's just goofy. Garrison says, we've been given the hit points of a final boss and zero attacks. <laughs> Grog. No. <laughs> How dare he? Rubicant, I'm not gonna forgive you, never. He just used a double negative. Lug Lugi turned your parents into monsters on his own. I apologize for that. I'm not like the others you see. I want to play fair. Shut up. How brave. But you'll never <laughs> gain real strength as long as you are swayed by emotions. I'll show you the power of anger. Rage drew out Edge's <laughs> hidden powers. Edge acquired Flood and Blitz. I see, but my cloak of flame cannot be penetrated even by cold. Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, Ether. Yeah, we'll do one more. I need to heal. Here we go. <laughs> oh, and then he gives it all back, okay. He likes to show his leg, doesn't he? Fire two. Glare. There goes Edge. Titan doesn't do too well against him. <laughs> Rage boost. Let's try to sneak him. <laughs> We found a cure one potion on him. Did you see that? 
We just found a cure one potion up his skirt, up his robe. <laughs> yeah, it's probably an empty Cure 1 bottle filled with Chanel. Chanel number 5. <laughs> <laughs> Rubikin didn't skip leg day. <laughs> he wants you to know it. Oh, that's funny, Elastic. <laughs> well, now I see why Golbez had a hard time with you. Weak people can join forces. I admire you, warriors. Farewell. I like how nobody ever dies. <clears throat> Hey there, Rick. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Dad, Mom, I avenge you. Your Highness. Chamberlain, we won't let your Highness go alone. Where is Rubricant? It's over. We did it. That becomes the Prince. All because of these guys. Thank you, good sirs. <laughs> the one gathering the crystals to reach the moon. He is the mastermind of Rubricant. Why the moon? For the power. And we have to stop him. So he was behind all this? I'm gonna go get him. Oh, but your highness, we must rebuild our castle. <laughs> The world is in danger. I gotta do something. Besides, I don't like that guy. <laughs> he just called us week after killing, after we killed him, Torth. Yeah. <laughs> Rick says, love this game, but Final Fantasy 3 USA was his favorite of the series. Would have been nice if I could have healed first. Yeah, the heal does seem to suck, doesn't it? Not to heal, the, the steel. Yeah, Edge made it. He's living on the edge. Okay. A pitfall. Ouch. Seems like we've fallen to the underground. Grudger, Black Cats, and Blade Men. D 
Disco bass. New airship? Let's take this airship and get out of this tower. It's not yours. That's okay. It would be happy to be used by us. Ha! <laughs> Isn't this a trap or something? Don't worry, I like this airship. Let's call it Falcon, how do you like that? Hurry, Edge, okay, okay, now go Falcon. Alrighty then. So. Oh, it can't fly over the ocean. Or whatever this is. Go back to the castle, I guess. Let's hit save. I don't know if there's anything waiting for us back here or not. Probably not. We've been worried. How did it go? I am afraid I see. It's trying to force open the sealed cave. Give me your necklace. No one can enter the cave without it. Okay. I have no idea what cave he's talking about right now. But anyway, yeah, this is probably a good place to stop stream for a night because that was a ton of practice. Not practice, a um, ton of progress. Let me do a save. All right, guys, that was entertaining. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for the chat. And I will.